G, sixth grade. There are some pictures that really, I think, capture like the essence of certain people in our grade. And it was just fun to, I guess, look at that and um, reminisce. So I remember being very excited. Um, just a little sixth grade me, I guess, roaming around the hallways. It was a fun time, I guess. I was fortunate enough to make my core group of friends pretty early on in sixth grade year, um, and we've stuck together all the way throughout 12th grade. I remember feeling very uh, awkward and strange, but like, I also remember looking up to all these high schoolers because it was really weird knowing that as we went to a middle school, there were high schoolers that we also were walking the halls with, and they were like so much taller than us. There were a couple pictures of the sixth grade forum, and I remember like we would squeeze into that forum like 80 of us. And I think Miss Maldonado would always say like, squiddle to the middle, and so we'd all have to like scooch into each other. Um, and it was just kind of like, we, it was so hard to quiet us down because we would always be talking to each other. Anything from middle school, honestly, is really cringy, especially sixth grade and seventh grade, because me and my friends, looking at the photos in this forum, just seeing the way we dressed and the way we acted, it was really cringy to look back at those photos and see how we acted. school probably I definitely cringe at most of those pictures I think it was all of our awkward phases but um, looking back at the pictures over there it's fun to see how much we've grown and how different we look and how different we feel from back then in seventh grade I was like a big energetic kid uh, lots of energy always running around the forum you could definitely hear me up and down the school like whatever forum I was in does not matter what forum you were in you could probably hear me screaming it was interesting to say the least. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things going on, especially at Green Hills, you get to try a lot of different experiences and kind of figure out what you want to do when you're older in high school. Um, and so I think there's a lot of unique opportunities that maybe most middle schoolers wouldn't have outside of Green Hills. This freshman year? Um, I saw a few from freshman year. Um, I think we all came together freshman year during Spirit Week because it started off a little rough, but then during the later parts of the week, we got the office as form decorating and we had people, everyone was chipping in, someone made jello with a stapler in it, and I think we all just like had so much fun with it. Right? So you come in and you're like, oh, I have this conception of what high school is going to be. And then it's just like, it's just weird. Like you feel out of place sometimes and then slowly you start finding your place. So I think, yeah, Green Hills freshman year was kind of odd for me. But after that, it all started coming together, but yeah. Tenth grade is definitely like where I found my home at Green Hills and that's like really when I started to appreciate the school and the faculty and like everyone who works to make this place like what it is. I think after ninth grade, probably in 10th grade and especially in 11th grade, I think not just for me but probably as a whole grade, we started to click a lot better. I mean just I feel like everything got going from there. I feel like everyone's gonna remember their sophomore year trip on the Pinery. Um, I guess that's like really interesting to be away from home and like not at a hotel or like out in the out in nature away from civilization just with your friends that's a good memory um my sophomore year there was one track meet where it rained really heavily and everyone had to kind of like scurry under the tent but we still had to run for like the next few hours and i just remember everyone kind of being chaotic but also being able to like come together and 
have a fun time still. I think that was sophomore year for me. Uh, especially with my friend group, we all sort of got put together in like a advisory group and we started to create, you know, our own sort of like place within the class instead of just sort of, you know, just being there and like out of the scene. Again, like sophomore year, that was a really special year. I feel like the grade really did get close because freshman year, we got a whole handful of new kids. So we were still unsure of like new friend groups and figuring out people. So sophomore year was really a special year that I'll probably remember for a long time. I think I'll remember Mr. Wicklin's 10th grade British literature class because I remember that was the time when I started falling in love with English class and because back then I never thought I was a person to enjoy English class or enjoy reading books or just like talking about themes and stuff like that but that class really changed my perspective on it and it made my creativity grow and enjoy literature. 10th grade is kind of like the last year of, of pure fun before things get hard in 11th grade. So a place that I really enjoy is the robotics like den, I guess. It's like over near there, it's like in the basement. It's this cozy spot and I have so many memories there just talking to Mr. Montesano and uh, all my mentors there, all my friends, even guys that went to college like a couple years ago, I was still in touch with them just because robotics was such a big part of my life and that, that room I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna remember forever, so yeah. I think I would remember junior year the most because I think I had an amazing set of teachers and I had really good friends that year and I had a lot of good memories. I feel like junior year when AP season came around, um, I think a lot of us had worked really hard up to that point and it was difficult transitioning to a pandemic. Um, and people were changing the AP exams. It wasn't the format, but we all worked really hard and I think we all did much better than we expected. Um, that was a really proud moment. Uh, definitely junior year, because uh, that was the last year for me at least before COVID hit that I really got to experience, I guess, Green Hills. And I'll definitely miss, obviously things won't be the same, but that I'll definitely always look back on junior year and thinking about just going to classes, seeing teachers every day, hanging out with friends. That was really fun. I don't know what year, but definitely through Green Hills Theater. I can, I can say that. Green Hills Theater, but it has such a special place in my heart because that was one of the places where upperclassmen actually made you feel welcome. Um, Lila Rubin, I will never forget her. She absolutely helped me, you know, break out of my shell just because she was so kind and attentive. And I, that really inspired me to try to do that for other underclassmen when I got to be a senior. And I didn't really get to do it this year, um, but I tried my best throughout my time in high school. A senior year, um, it's been, you know, being at home was not that bad, to be honest. I, it did get a little claustrophobic at some point, but being able to be at home with my dog and go to class with my dog, that was outstanding. But also getting to spend more quality time with my friends, because you had to go out of your way to like make time. So you really learn like who's important to you and who's not and all that kind of stuff, yeah. I think honestly, this year is the year that I grew the most, my senior year, because we went through a lot um, and I think I grew as a person and was able to connect with a lot more of our grade, um, even though we weren't actually together because we were all going through something. I think I never would have expected Spirit Week to be so fun. <laughs> I'm not a very, ex like, I don't, I'm not really loud, but I think Spirit Week is the one time where I am shouting my lungs out, screaming 2021 and cheering for all my classmates. So, yeah. Ooh, I feel like this year was pretty much the best one because we dominated every single event. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> my best year, I feel like I have to say this year just because although like the pandemic made it 
quite rocky. I think seeing everyone in my grade come together was really nice. It honestly has not set in that I'm like about to graduate. I remember when I was in seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, even 10th grade, and I looked at the seniors above me, like they always felt like they were way bigger than me, like much more mature. But now obviously I'm in the position that so many people have been in before me. And it honestly doesn't really feel real. Like this is my last day at Green Hills, but honestly this year has probably made me closer with a lot of people because like we all went through this situation where no one knew what was going on. And now we're kind of like getting towards the clear. So yeah, it's super fun. I'm gonna look back and like, I'm gonna miss meeting, meeting with Randy over Zoom for advisory. Um, I miss Mr. Wickland's 10th grade English classes. Those were always super, super fun. And yeah, there's a lot, there's definitely a lot I'm gonna miss. I am gonna miss having conversations with Miss Renault every single day, cause she was like, she was my favorite teacher by far at Green Hills. So when I look back in 50 years, definitely gonna remember the teachers the most. It'll have a special place in my, in my mind and my heart, but I don't, like I'm, there's like that, that, that feeling when you like take off from somewhere where there's that little bit of sadness, but there's a lot of excitement. And I feel like Green Hills prepared me for that, that I'm gonna have, that I'm gonna be fond of all the memories I had here, but I'm ready to, ready to move on. I think Green Hills gave me that, yeah. Really excited to leave. I'm really happy about the future and where I'm gonna go from here. Yeah. Good for you. Sorry.